Rodents here. Designing a color palette that achieves both beauty and functionality can be challenging, especially when trying to make it graceful in both dark and light modes while keeping the color system easy to manage in the code. In this video, I will share an approach that worked well for my frontend project and should help make color system intuitive for you as well. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. We store the user's theme preference in the local storage. The available options are dark, light, or system. By default, we set it to system unless the user decides to change it. If you are interested in learning about an optimal setup for certain values in the local search, please refer to this video. Here is an example of the theme settings in my project city app at angular.org. To provide the components with colors, we have to rub the root of the app with a theme provider component. It relies on the youth media hook from React Use to detect if users prefer a dark theme. Then, based on that value and the theme preference from local search, we pick the theme object. Both the dark and light themes implement the default theme interface, which we declare in the style.d.ts file. It includes a name, either dark or light, colors, and shadows. All the colors we'll use in our app will come from the theme colors interface implementation or their variants. The primary color is like a brand or accent color. This is the only color you have to change in the system to accommodate it for your app. We'll usually use the primary color for interactive elements such as buttons, checkboxes, or links. The alert color is for error messages or destructive actions. Idle is an orange color that could be used for warnings, and I use it in some visualizations, like in this example highlighting an overview. The success color is used for positive things like a check icon when the user completes a task, or to highlight an increase in some metric. Here's an example of using it to show a habit streak. Foreground could be used for a sidebar or some panel, while the background color provides the most contrast. It is either almost black or white and serves as a page background or text color in a reversed element, like a button with a dark background and white text in a light mode. We will use text, text supporting and text shy for text. They have different contrast levels and their names embody their purpose. They also a contrast color that we will use for things that should stand out. It will be absolute white in the dark mode and black in the light mode. Mist and mist extra are almost transparent colors that you would use a lot because we can put one element with the mist background on top of another and they will still have different colors due to the transparency. You can use them for panels and cars, buttons, borders, etc. For interactive elements with the mist background, we would usually use mist extra as a hover color. The overlay color is an almost opaque version of the mist color that would be used to blur out the background when shown a model. The white and transparent colors are self explanatory and they will be the same in both themes. We will use the getLabel color function to get a color for a label based on its index. Here's an example of a color input that relies on that function to provide this list of options. To learn more about color generation and the HSLA format, check out this video. Here's how the dark theme implements the theme colors interface. When using the HSLA format, there is logic for colors. Here, foregrounds is the same as the background, but a bit lighter. The same goes for mist extra color, which is a bit more opaque than the mist color. And here, the light theme implementation. You can see a slight difference in saturation and lightness we pass to the generate label color getter function to make them fit the light theme better. To access the color installed components, you would usually rely on the get color helper. However, there might be times when we need to create a color variant. For example, here we make the button background a bit dimmer on hover. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.